Greetings, and welcome to the audio version of Fresh Fire International Ministries' weekly blog. I'm Pastor Janice Farid Hardy, and the title of this blog is Worrying is Human, But God Has a Better Way. Once again, the title is Worrying is Human, But God Has a Better Way. The church door opened as she drove by, so she parked and she entered that unfamiliar church. Inside, the pastor and a deacon, who were making a repair, they welcomed her. She told them her predicament and said she saw no way out. It was serious. The pastor and deacon prayed for and encouraged the woman, and they told her to come back Friday night when the entire congregation could pray for her, and she agreed. At Friday's service, the pastor alerted the congregation about the special prayer request, but she never came. But the church prayed for her anyway. Now, weeks later, the pastor saw the woman at a shopping center and asked, well, why didn't you return? She said she figured if the whole church was praying, that meant that her request was reaching heaven and God would hear and answer. Since they and God were already on the job, she saw no need to be there. You know, it it would have been good for her to be there, yet she was right. Once we make a request to God, even if it's through God's faithful servants, we can let go and just watch for God's answer. And even if we choose to keep asking and keep praying, the Bible tells us to not repeat those requests or prayers in fear or doubt and or anxiety, but instead in faith that God will somehow answer. So what is Jesus' view on worrying? Jesus said, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body or what you will wear. Is not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes? Just look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more valuable than they? Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? That's Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 27. Jesus said, we can just look around us and see that God takes care of everything in creation. When looking, I see pigeons and other birds, ducks that somehow swim in the questionable East River Inlet. I wouldn't swim there. I see ants and trees and clouds, etc. And it amazes me that no one is sustaining them other than God. So wouldn't God sustain me and wouldn't God sustain you since we are made in God's image? You know, it is human for us to worry, yet it is divine for us to give it to God. Remember, Jesus said, can we, by worrying, add a single hour to our life? Can worrying change anything other than raise our blood pressure, give us ulcers, make us nervous, keep us from thinking clearly, destroy our peace, and even give us a bad attitude? Who wants that? Who wants that? When worry rises, decide to pray, to believe, and to rehearse what Jesus told us. I admit, we will likely worry sometime, but fight it just like Jesus fought the temptations in the desert. Boldly tell your worry desert, it is written. And complete that sentence with God's word or promise. For example, it is written that you will never leave me or forsake me. Fill it in with whatever works for you. It is written. Complete it with words of God that feed your spirit, your mind, your body, your soul, okay? And even if you have to recite it hundreds of times, do that. So in conclusion, I say to you, happy peace to you. Don't worry. Trust God. God bless you. Have a great week. And check in with our audio version of the blog or even our uh, uh, written version of the blog, which is on our website at www.fficeministries.com. Okay, but we do hope to see you next week. God bless you. Bye-bye.